I'm in Kanazawa for the next three days and two nights. This is my first time traveling alone, to be honest. Like, there's, yeah, there's really no one else here, man. So, I made it through. I got a nervous panic moment at the bus because they didn't take the Suica card, so I had to pay in cash. I didn't know if I had any cash on me. But I definitely had cash on me, God bless. And, yeah. I think I'm gonna just hit the hay early today. It's already like nine o'clock. Um, not even nine o'clock, it's like eight o'clock. This is honestly one of like the most beautiful things I've seen while uh, I've been in Japan. Um, I'm, I'm in the Ken Rukin Gardens and this is just the pathway leading up to the garden so I'm so excited to see what the garden is actually going to look like. The, the cherry blossoms are in full bloom too and it's going to be a beautiful bright day. So it's amazing man. I'm so happy. I'm so grateful to be out here. and. Yeah, man, it's just a dream come true, to be honest. So this is Towns Folk Coffee in downtown Kanazawa and actually this was probably my favorite coffee shop in the entire area that I've been to and that's why I wanted to show it to you now. Um, it's ran by just one guy who's the owner of the shop and he's been training in coffee and this is kind of like his dream project and the coffee is fantastic and the place and location is great so check it out. Where I went for lunch though was really interesting, it was a place called Taka Sakia Sushi. It's nearby townsfolk uh, and downtown Kanazawa and it's actually just this old couple's home and the sushi restaurant is just the first floor of like their three-story home so it's ran by this grandma and this grandpa and they're just so cute and the food there is actually really delicious. I actually this green tea that you're seeing is actually some of the best green tea I had while I was in Japan this miso soup was fantastic and the omakase was like $20 and it was some of the best sushi I had while I was in Japan and it's just prepared by one guy and his wife and it's just super relaxed it was super hard for me to get in there though because I speak no Japanese or well I speak some but very not, very little and they were just so kind the people there were helping me out order they couldn't even speak English but we just pointed at things to try and communicate and it was an amazing experience even though it was super nerve-wracking because I don't speak Japanese and everyone there is Japanese and here I was actually going to explain the whole experience to you guys but the audio was so bad and cut out by the wind noise that I decided to just do this voiceover but as you can see from the outside it's literally their home like I think I saw their grandkids walk into the kitchen and uh, in and out of the house to grab things and then just leave and go back to school. But it was an amazing sushi place. I definitely recommend it. It was a very homey experience because it was someone's home and it felt like your parents were just cooking for you when you came home from uh, school. So 
it was a feeling that I really enjoyed and if you could get past the nervousness of opening those wooden doors you'll have a great time with uh, with it with a couple that lays beyond and it's a fantastic restaurant so definitely check it out if you are in downtown Kanazawa dang so uh so it turns out traveling alone is actually pretty nice you do everything at your own pace you don't really compromise when it comes to like choosing what to do um, and as long as you give yourself like a schedule you don't really just find yourself like sitting around doing nothing um, and you always have something to do uh, in the area which is really nice uh, I'm in Kanazawa which is really slow I really do needed that break I really did need that break from Tokyo Tokyo was like five days of just non-stop walking we were doing like eight to ten miles a day of walking and that's pretty crazy uh, but now Kanazawa is such a small city is that I could just take my time uh, I want to go get another coffee I want to start editing some videos for my YouTube channel and the day is beautiful I have some things planned tonight as well I'm gonna go to the I think the Higashi Chaya district I think it's called it's like an old geisha district um, similar to the buildings in Kyoto so I'm excited to go check that out but yeah it's been a beautiful day so far um, I'm really enjoying my time here I had to do a bunch of like this is something they don't really tell you about long-term traveling is like the amount of laundry that you have to do is kind of crazy so you have to kind of set aside a section of your day in order to make sure that you do the laundry but Kanazawa is definitely not a night city so I'll probably save all my traveling chores for the end of the day but I really want to get out there again and just enjoy the sun enjoy the city and uh, just take it slow and once we get in Kyoto tomorrow that's when things will speed up a lot for me so uh, I hope to get as much completed I guess uh, in terms of like just relaxing as much as I can I really enjoy the hotel I'm in Tokyo stay is really good one because they have a laundry machine inside the room which is a godsend but yeah I will check in with you guys around dinner time when we get to the uh, geisha districts here in Kanazawa side note I was gonna check out some of the ho uh, not the hotels the museums in Kanazawa but I decided not to because they are not doing too well on terms of like reviews list so the reviews are pretty not terrible but they're not great for the museums in the area so I think I'm going to save that for another time in the future if I ever visit the city again but uh, yeah life is good life is good talk to those two German guys that you just saw in the last shot they were lovely homeboy's been living here for 30 years in Yokohama that is crazy
I ain't ever seen one of those before. What the heck is that? So there's a restaurant called Huni and it's a 20 minute walk away from where I am staying. So I am about to make this journey to this restaurant so hopefully it's good. Damn, that was tragic as fuck. I walked like 25 minutes to get there and they were full so now I'm headed back full of disappointment and sadness and thinking about how I'm going to reserve every single dinner place that I eat at from now on. I'm so sad. Rest in peace. Castle's right here though. Yeah. Crazy, right? Look at all these cherry blossoms. Pretty cool, pretty cool. God damn it! The sushi place I just tried to go to is fully booked too. This is fucked. I think every place, I think Kanazawa is probably busier than it's ever been before right now because of the cherry blossoms. So, um, I think Kyoto is going to, Kyoto and Osaka is about to be the exact same. So I'm really not trying not to go to like three different restaurants in order to get some dinner. So I'm gonna go home. I don't even know what I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna just find something to eat randomly, probably like some 7-Eleven stuff. But I'm gonna find something to eat and then I'm gonna go back to the hotel. I'm gonna start booking some restaurants. This is crazy. Yeah, I just tried going to my, uh, I just tried going to the third restaurant and it's the third fully booked restaurant in a row. This is getting crazy. So sad. I'm eating at fucking Family Mart today. La Combinis, man. God damn it. My God, there was not a single restaurant that was fucking not booked out. It just leads me to believe that if I don't book everything out tonight, then I'm just gonna get no restaurants for the rest of my fucking trip here. So my priority for today is gonna be to try and reserve some restaurants for the rest of the week. Um, yeah, Jesus, that was really bad. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that after I eat my dinner, which is going to be crazy of the combo knees. Got myself a Coke Zero. Some mild cucumbers. A couple noodles that I've never seen before. Got some ice cream that I'll probably eat first before it melts. Got some more water, uninteresting stuff. And then uh, onigiri, tuna mayo, tuna mayo onigiri. You've seen these before. And this ham sandwich thingy majig that looks pretty delicious. They only serve the white bread too, which is kind of crazy. I don't know, I thought they would serve some other types of bread, but nah, white bread only, I guess. Ice cream first. I'm gonna change into shorts. This is my uh, favorite choco sandwich ice cream thing. I love these things, I love them. Oh yeah, that's Coke Zero. I'm gonna show you how it's done, baby. Punch in. Yeah, yag him, yag him. Down the middle. Oh yeah, oh yeah, down the middle. I'm gonna pull all the way through the back. It's like a, yeah. And you wanna pinch the onigiri itself with the seaweed, right? You want to pull this out of like the wrapping paper out of the rice. It's nice and gently push, pull it out. Wheel, right now you get one side out. Sorry, I'm making a mess, a mess. And now you could just get the other side out too. Yes, yeah, sir. And now you have onigiri fully uh, unwrapped, and you just kind of. I just I like to like fold the seaweed back over it. Like that. I just eat it. Huh. Mm -mm -mm. Mini cucumber time, baby. 
Oh, it smells pretty good. It smells like those uh, Doze Zone cucumbers where they put the spice on them. I ain't got, I don't have utensils, but I'm, so I'm gonna just eat it with my fingers. Mmm, mm. crunchy. It's kind of like eating spicy pickles. It's pretty good. Like uh, the cucumber is a bit fresher than pickles though, you know? Not bad at all. They're not as addictive as really good spicy cucumbers can be, but I don't know. I just felt like I needed some veg. Time to eat this sandwich. I don't think I'm gonna eat this today just cause I have no chopsticks. Maybe I just put it in the suitcase and uh, save it for never. God damn it! I just wasted my money. Fuck. I never opened one of these before, by the way. It's, it looks like this. I never opened one before though, so we're gonna find out what's up with this today. So you pull down from the back like this, supposedly. Open thing. Open sesame, motherfucker. Oh, and then it like opens up so you could choose which sandwich you want. Like that. Ah, they're these Japanese people, man. They're way too smart, dog. Jesus. Jeez, they're too smart, man. I knew it. I knew we were doing something wrong in the Americas. Yeah, the a white bread only, baby. I think this is ham, lettuce, tuna. Wait, I'm trolling. It's ham, lettuce, some mayonnaise, and some American cheddar cheese. The review. It's good. It's like something you would make at home, you know? You just slap it together with some mayonnaise. It's whatever, you know? It's just like to get by. Eat with some cucumbers. Mmm. Eat with some cucumbers and then wash it down with some Coke Zero. Mmm. <laughs> Cheers, guys. I think uh, I think after I finish this meal. I'm going to do some like reservation work for dinner in Kyoto, which I will be headed to tomorrow via Shinkaisen. Um, probably wake up tomorrow, have a, probably sleep in a little bit longer tomorrow than I did uh, last night. And uh, yeah, I think I will see you guys in the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Yeah, in the morning. All right, guys. Good night. I'll see you next time.